Hey everybody and welcome back to the channel. This is Sketch Monkey here and it's a beautiful day today. It's actually not raining. It's been raining for about a month straight. So we're out here in the dog park throwing some frisbees so Jules can chill out when I make the video later on. Drop it Jules. Ready? You look ready. There you go. Today we're gonna have a look at the uh, GMC Yukon and we're gonna turn it into a we're gonna make it into the best of both worlds. Americans like, they like big comfy SUVs. The Escalade used to have, they used to take, uh, have a pickup truck made based on the Escalade. So I wanna do something similar to that, but with the GMC Yukon. The Yukon, I actually like the new Tahoe, the Yukon and the Escalade. They're all built in the same way. It looks like they just took a big block of something and just chiseled out the shape of the car. So I want to take the GMC Yukon and turn it into a pickup truck. Alright, so let's talk about the GMC Denali and the, the changes we're gonna make to it and also the problems that we're gonna encounter and how we're gonna try and solve those. So first of all, of course, we need to uh, remove this part right here because we need to make it into a truck and I, I i really love the shape of the yukon and the the escalade and the uh uh chevy tahoe they're all built on the same platform and i think they look so good especially in gray like this and add some cool wheels to it and you have a really nice looking suv i like it because it looks solid and it looks beefy without being too much it has some elegance to it. I think it has to do with all these chiseled lines here. It looks like it's been, you know, carved out of a uh, block of metal. Very clean lines, so you can see this long line right here. Totally unbroken, and then it just dips down here and creates this beautiful little chamfer down here. And the massive front and headlights all have very, very clean lines. And I really like the design of this. So the Cadillac that I was talking about earlier is the Cadillac EXT from, I think they started in the early 2000s with one model and then a new model came out in 2007, but they don't make it anymore. But we're gonna take this philosophy of turning a uh, luxury SUV into a truck, but we're gonna keep it clean and not go all, all crazy with this redesign. We, I want to have that elegance still within the truck and have it be very, like a refined truck, not a work truck at all. So we wanna take the best from both worlds, the best from the SUV world and the truck world and turn it into something special. So what, what do we need to do? Well, we need to remove this first of all, of course. And then I think we're gonna have to because if we remove this, we wanna extend the bed. So we wanna have a bed going to probably about this point right here. And that means that this axle, the rear axle, I think we're gonna, going to have to move that this way, just a little bit backwards that way. And maybe extend the whole bed this way so that it ends somewhere around here. And I also wanna change the, I like these rear lights, but I think we can make them more modern and make some cool stuff with it. Just graphically change uh, change it into something else. And there are some minor details that we're gonna have to change as well. So we need to move this cut line for the door. It's gonna be here. So it's gonna be one of these small doors that we have on a few trucks. And also the front here, I think it looks too low. I just wanna remove this protective plastic piece right there. And maybe work on the bumper a little bit, but I want to raise the front up so that it, the um, the ride height it's, it's it's the the clearance is a little bit better than we have right here, and also add some additional trim to the rear. The rear is going to be interesting because we have to make it blend in with the rest of the car, and especially the uh, we ha we also have to consider that it's the uh, it's supposed to be a Denali package, so we need to have some cool trim, maybe some chrome pieces in there and stuff like that. So those are the major changes that we're going to make to this truck. So now let's jump into the redesign and let's see how this GMC uh, Yukon Denali truck is going to turn out. 
All right, so a little bit of change of plans here. I'm gonna go feed some kittens and Lindsay is gonna take over the commentary for a few, uh, for a minute or so. So I'll see you in, uh, in a bit. Go ahead, Lindsay. All right, so here we have your average American house on wheels. Um, we're gonna go ahead and take out that second bedroom because we really don't need that much space. Remove the door here so the children can't escape. Sometimes they're wild little heathens. Keep everybody contained. Oh, oh, okay, nope, nope. We're gonna actually go ahead and add that door back in. Gonna make it a smaller door though, so it's harder for them to get out. No more roof racks because who needs to carry crap around? Erase this back window. Oh, see, now we have a, a sunroom here. Perfect spot for you know your inflatable mattress so you can go camping. Just put that in there. Let your kids flop around in the back. No worries. Okay, so I'm back. I think uh, I think Lindsay covered pretty much everything that uh, needs to be said about this redesign. It's basically just turning this Denali into a uh, truck and uh, nothing more complicated than that. There are a few details, of course, that needs to be addressed when we do a change like this. For example, we need to add some uh, things around the rear window. We need to figure out how the rear window is going to operate. So I want to also later on add a, uh, a, a piece of the window, the center part of the window. I want to make that so you can open it up and uh, have some air come in from, from the back if you want to do that. And also the top spoiler of the, uh, the roof needs to have, I think it's regulation, I think it's law that you need to have a brake light in there. So I'm going to add that as well later on. But for now, we're working on the design of this new truck here. So I want to add one of these uh, ducktails integrated in the rear. I think it looks a lot cooler. It just, it, it, it looks good. It looks good because it has a, it, it's almost like a um, defined ending or de defined end point of where the truck ends by adding this integrated spoiler. And that's why I wanted to have it there. And these rear lights, as I said, I like them, but since we're redesigning this car, we might as well have some other lights in there just for fun and see how it's going to turn out if we add one of these light bars in there. Because as I've said before, pretty much every single new car today has some sort of uh, light bar, even if it's not functional, just graphically, there is most times there's something connecting the two ends, end points or the two, uh, the two sides of the car. And it also helps with creating this width of the car and makes it, makes it look a little bit wider than it is. Even though it probably doesn't need to be any wider than it is, but why not emphasize this more by adding this light bar? On the side of the uh, rear lights, wanted to have some other LEDs in there. And this is all about identity for the brand. If you want to have some, you want to, you want it to be recognizable at night as well. And just a simple light bar, it can be uh, confusing. You might uh, think that it's some other brand, a generic brand. So adding a little bit more of design features into the light is going to help with identifying what it is at night. The fuel cap, it can't be in the original position because it's just a bed there now. It's open, so we need to move the fuel cap up to uh, where the C-pillar meets the rest of the body. And this is the part of the window that I talked about earlier uh, that I wanted to integrate and to have it be um, so you can open it in the rear as well. And now all that's left is to add some trim pieces to this car, make it a true Denali, make it shiny, add some burn points and highlights and stuff like that. And of course, the one of the most important parts is still left to do here, and that is to move the rear axle and extend the whole length of the car. And when we do that, that creates some problems with the reflections. So we need to go in and uh, kind of make some body work to this redesign and have everything flow uh, smoothly as it did in the original image and work on the reflections and have them connect and so on. So 
So there we have it. That's the redesign of the GMC Yukon, turning it into a truck. I think it turned out really good. I like the way it looks because it still keeps that simple styling of the original Yukon with the clean lines and not too much craziness going on. We also changed of course, the, uh, the graphics for the... I'm really happy that I extended the wheelbase because if we had a shorter wheelbase, it would look almost like a cartoon car because the wheelbase would be too short to apply this on a truck. Thank you so much for spending a few minutes with me today. If you want to learn how to sketch, you can check out my courses down below in the description. I also have my Amazon shop there where you can check out all the tools I use to create these videos. I'm the Sketch Monkey. I will see you in the next video. Take it easy.